Hello fellow noobs! It's a noob no more. Just playing some good old-fashioned classic caps. Hopefully I might get some practice in for FFA or something like that a little bit later. But until then, we're going back to what I think's the meta, which is classic caps. And I get to go first, and I get the god Middle East cap. Which is excellent to see. Whew, that's always the first thing, guys. Hello, Seb. Oh, no, Seb. Welcome in. Yeah, the right cap choice is pretty critical in this game mode. So to get Middle East, having not played classic caps for a while, uh, quite happy about. Quite happy indeed. Hello, Ahmed. Good to see you. Just playing some classic caps. I haven't played this game mode in quite some time. Just flashing by, I'm going to a friend's place. I hope you have a good evening, Seb. All right, we've got a cap up here. A cap on a corner here. Okay, a European cap. This is ranked, guys. And the standard Aussie cap. Are we still copying Becky? Who did Becky, has Becky had this title before as well? I didn't know. I don't know, I'll have to set one up, Chris. You have to set one up. Do you know how to set your walk up, walk on up? Okay, so, um. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure of it. And then put everything on cap. Lose one, of course. And then I'm bringing, gonna bring all my troops back on cap. You all know how I like to play classic, cap, classic caps. It's to try and get my cap as big as possible. That is how I roll. The only one I have is in donos and I don't even know what the fuck it is because he chose it. Ah, fair enough. So I got a new lighting setup, by the way, guys. Not very forgiving on my old tired face. I've been up since 5 a.m. But they are, the green screen behind me is going to work day or night now, whereas at night time it started getting a bit fuzzy. So uh, just giving the lights a bit of a road test. See how they go. Same, mate, and it's 9.30, you're getting old. Yeah, I am getting old, Seb. That is for sure. Too warm for the too cold for the fan still. Yeah, Green's cap is awesome. <coughs> I'm a big fan of Green's cap. Let's see if they take Australia turn one. And in fact, let's just go through our opponents quickly. We've got General Ban 2877 from Canada in the first edition. Arrow win eleven from is that Turkey? Uh, Belgabat from Switzerland. We have Funny Guy from. Hello. Oh, I should know that one. My name is Inigo. Hello from my son Smythe. And he you does take Australia father. turn one. Prepare to and, die. And uh, General Balan from Israel. Great to see you guys. Great to have you all on board. Just starting off with some classic caps, and then I might do some tournament practice later if you guys are up for it. Oh, God, Chris, I'll um, I'll get you one after this. You have to just tell me what you want. You have to look through the blurb sound alerts and just choose something, and uh, and I'll set it up. There used to be a thing where you could um, it had some instructions. Uh, I can't remember how to do it. Just played round four practice FFA. You're thinking too far ahead for me. Way too far ahead. Hey, I like Star Wars. Absolutely. All right, Yellow's botting out already. Are these automated bots? Automated bots. I normally play neutral. Oh, I've got a five over here as well. All right, let's spend that. All right, Red's also pretty good at the game. Putting a six and a six. 
Maybe I should have fortified up here, to be honest. All right. Purple's taking South America slowly. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, thanks for my son, Smythe. So I don't want people taking bonuses too early. It messes with my game plan, guys. It messes with my game plan. Normally, I don't want people to get too big before the sets get big enough. <laughs> Look at this. What is this, please? Can someone please tell me what this is? Down check round four. Something fortress, stable, prog, fog. Another fog game. Well, I do need to get better at fog. Actually, I should have played turkey fog. That's what I should have done. All right, so I'm I'm obviously working out that green's going to be an easy kill at some point. But yeah, you can see green's going to get big, and I don't. I'm not going to hit these territories now, guys. And we got a Sammy Spreader, it looks like. Lots of Sammy Spreaders this game. Mm -hmm. It's a yellow who card skipped in last position. Are they going for North America, maybe? I'm not sure. Again, my job is to get this cap as big as possible, guys. And I'm just getting out of this way. Do I want to go up? No, I don't think so. All right, I've, I've got two ponies. I've got three ponies. I'm starting a ranch. So you can see my cap. Oh, these guys haven't had a go yet, but my cap's pretty strong. We're in G early in the morning, right? It's it's twenty to eight here. It is 20 to 8 here. Okay, so red brings their troops back to cap. Maybe they're not quite as bad as I thought. So I'm kind of happy with this. The only person that does have a bonus is clearly a pretty bad player. Purple taking it slowly is a little bit scary. It's 8 a.m. here. Yeah. Oh, Red, what are you doing, you fool? Can someone please tell me what this is about? Okay, White brings their troops back. Whew. Cheers, Big Ben. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Green's going to run out of cards pretty quickly. See, so I like playing my tournament games at 1 to 3 a.m., but now I have to play other English players for qualifying, so I need to change my times. Fair. Okay. Capital mode is activated. Whoopsie. I think that's gonna be a goner. All right, I got four ponies. I am starting a ranch. Gives you an excuse if you no show. I did see your no show, sir. I did see your no show. All right, purple takes South America now, guys. So I'm doing okay. Do I card skip, guys? Card skipping is not a bad idea here. I don't mind this. I think I'm going to card skip. What do you guys reckon?
Fixed? No, this is progressive. There's not not a whole lot of point card skipping in fixed, I have to admit. Definitely progressive. But being first in the turn order kind of sucks. Green, at least, is going to open up cards for me if I want it. All right. Time for the classic card skip. And if we were playing classic fix, I want someone to shoot me because I've gone insane. It's been done before on accident, that's for sure. Did you see Lich's Miracle Round 10 escape? Uh, no, I haven't yet, actually. Pretend to attack. And then, card skip. See if that fools anybody. I doubt it, but it could. And, and he card skips as well, which is not great for me because he's got a bonus and I don't. All right, let's see how red goes. I don't think red's the best player in the world. Is he gonna card skip? Nope. He's not. Okay. He doesn't mind over attacking red. A good case in point. You're going to take troops off your cap, are you? Not a good idea, red. He doesn't. What does white do now? He's seen two of us card skip. Do you think it's the right move for him to card skip as well? Apparently not. And you can see I've still got the biggest cap, which is great. One of the reasons I like to get a bigger cap is that um, it makes people less likely to attack me. I like Reds 11 blocking the path. From NA to Asia. It's, yep, it's pretty special. Okay. Okay, there you go. Did I get five ponies? Four ponies and a dude. Oh, and that's my card too, if I get to keep it. Not bad. Not overly helpful, but not bad. Mm, taking that one might have been better. Got me an extra two troops. All right, Red gets the small trade. What do they do with it? But I'm pretty happy with the way this has gone so far. No one's grabbed any of the big bonuses. Locking off your cap, Red. I like it. Okay, cool. Red's now got a, 20, a 19 cap, which is pretty good. White trades. Mm. Is he going to take Europe this turn? Oh, he's going to card block green already. The shenanigans begin. Bring it on. But green's got a trade. So he's going to try and force green to block off this stack. All right. So now green's blocked off. Now, does he leave a 17 stack there and card block red? Is that the way this is going to go? Two fours. Okay. And we've only got yellow. Yellow shouldn't hit this stack.
Nice. So I didn't get the big, big trade. I just got a bigger trade. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Excellent. Do I want to hold Northern Europe? I think Ural's a cap, so get, definitely get rid of that. Great Britain or Northern Europe? They're as good as each other, really. I'll hang on to Great Britain, just because Chris is in chat. And I get another pony, guys. Yeehaw! All right. But I got the 10 trade at least. So I'm one of the biggest. Completely ignores the other Brit. Um, who's the other Brit? It's for my son, Smith. Is he British? I thought... I thought you were from mainland New. Forgive me if I'm wrong. He only won the World Cup for England last year. Oh, were you in the World Cup? I didn't know that for my son, Smythe. I think I did. Sorry, I think that was in the deep recesses of my memory somewhere. Yeah, just a World Cup champion, yeah. That's all. And congratulations again. All right, so you can see I'm keeping this stack pretty tiny. And that's on purpose. I want to not take these cards as much as possible. And an investment of three troops over here, I don't think it's a big deal. But I do not need to already be starting to think about whether or not it's worth eating people for their cards. But no one's done anything super crazy. Trades are only at 20. And everyone's got massive stacks. So we just have to chill. I watched your clutch set on three on arc against, uh, yeah, yeah, in England. Thank you, mate. Obviously, um, probably my favorite risk moment of all time so far. Yeah, green will keep opening. Oh, what's this? Is he killing him? He forgot about this. Is it my turn next? Okay, let's start thinking. Do I kill yellow and red? I think I kill yellow and red, right? Yeah, trades are at 25. So that makes sense. Oh, red's here as well. Red is here as well, guys. So I don't have a trade. All right, let's just progress the game. Let's progress the game, guys. We want a good roll. We want a good roll. That's a pretty good roll. Is this cap better than this cap? Do I want to keep any troops on this cap? Apparently not. Do I want to spread my troops across two caps? Oh, Kamchaka. I want Kamchaka. I better hurry here. Okay. as well Great Britain Western Europe I want Western Europe
Okay, now let's start stacking these caps. Okay, there you go. Sweep them all. Not quite worth it yet. Maybe I could have killed green. No, it's not worth it yet. It's not worth it yet. So I'm just gonna stack my caps, make sure they're safe, and just keep waiting for the next opportunity. I mean, there's a free cap right here. Natural set, you know it. Kill green if he doesn't trade. I could definitely kill green if he doesn't trade. And now I've got a massive trade, uh, sorry, troop advantage and card advantage. So that's going to be helpful. I mean, green, I just have to remember this two down here. Don't let me forget. If green doesn't trade, trades are going to be at 40. And he's got another two thirds of that, which is like worth 60. Okay. Green dice. Just for you guys. Um, yep, that'll do. Need a good roll here. Now I don't want three caps, guys. I don't want three caps. Alaska, Madagascar. Don't think it really matters, guys. Okay, there goes another plow. And I've got 250 caps, which could be taken right now. A 50 cap can be taken right now with a trade. And I've got to use my wild. But if he gets a bad roll, it'd be the end of his game. And we're definitely down to three players already. So I will have sacrificed a few of troops on that green kill, but I'll replace those next turn. It's taking Europe. Do we let him hold Europe? I mean, he's letting me hold all these territories. I'm gonna let him hold. It's a bit controversial. Madagascar, South Africa. Siberia. Madagascar's good. South Africa I'll get rid of. Because I've already got some troops down here, you see. Do I start card blocking purple is the question. I've got to take a card somewhere. Okay, this is looking good. I've got 280 caps. The all important Australia. Maybe I should just put like a 10 down here. I don't know. Now, does he come down and take my Australia? He shouldn't. Because at the moment I'm generating as much as them. I've got two caps, or well, he's got two caps. We'll see. And that's an oops. Oops. Because now I'm just going to break 
all your territories. And we've got an enemy, guys. We've got an enemy. Okay. I mean, maybe I could be taking North America, to be honest, but... No, okay. Just take that back to cap. Alrighty. Okay, it's fine with me. So I just keep breaking white now, yeah? I'm 208 troops. What do I do now to progress the game? Do I take North America? All right, let's try that then. Let's, let's see if he lets me hold. Because it's much easier to card block Let's just see if that works. I don't know if it's gonna work. I mean, we're already getting to the point where the, the bonuses don't really matter. It's about the cards and trades now. Okay. Okay, purple. Okay, purple's on five cards. So I've pissed them both off, it seems. I mean, I didn't break him there, right? Why would you break me? All right, Western United States, China, Siberia, or Japan? Hmm. Take cards with purple in NA and try and get white to take the board. That's not a bad idea. I might wait for the sets to get a bit bigger. So the question for me is where do I get a card? I need the trades to get a little bit bigger. And the problem is that I'm always going to be behind purple. All right, so I've got to pick a friend here and start card blocking. It's just that purple's so much an easier card block. All right? I think purple's an easier card block initially. Oh, okay. All right. Does he take purple? No. What the fuck is this about? <clears throat> Can I card block? No, I'm just going to stick with my original plan. Break me, I break you. And he's gonna get five a turn. Okay, there you go. It's one card gone. He's 
He's gonna take me out of here, isn't he? Okay, so these two guys are working against me now. <laughs> Japan, New Guinea, Siberia. All right, I don't need to trade, so I don't. All right. I don't need to trade. Card blocking won't work just yet. So what do I do then? What do I do, guys? I'll just take a card and pass. Wait for them to forget about me. Start going into each other. He's going for me. Lose a lot. Lose a lot. That's not a lot. He's not going to be able to hold both of those caps, though. You saw that coming? I wish you told me. I would have gone across the two. Um, I would have. I would have traded early and protected my caps. I've got to think about that stuff a bit more. <coughs> and now White's got a massive lead, guys. White's got a massive lead now. And he, that, damn it, I was going to take that cap. And now I've got a shit cap. <sighs> I think I lose this now, guys. Right? I think I lose this now. I've gone from a commanding position, I've lost the best cap on the board, and I've got a shit cap that's not open. Fuck, I've got to get... I'm definitely rusty. Definitely rusty. Yeah, the cap's... Tr this cap is trash. White trades, and I get blocked here, do I? Okay. This is actually good for me, by the way. Unless these guys are absolutely teaming, they should start going into each other. I'm just going to take a card and pass quickly and hope they forget about me. Interesting. Yeah, now I'm fucked. Let's lose off your roulette, I go. Yeah. Oh, thanks, buddy. Thanks for the card. I'll take that. And I got a wild as well. That's good. Mm-hmm. Now, do I need to leave an off-cap stack? What I actually need to do is change caps. This cap's no good. All right, now I've got two cards, which is good. Oh, 
All right. So I want these guys to go into each other. That's the plan. I mean, I'd take this 69 cap if I could get rid of the 108. If I could get rid of the 108, guys. Yeah, he's going to take it. X is excellent. White's that bad a player. I don't think White gets it. What's going on? Looks like he's going to go for it. It's not 100%, but it'd be pretty close. No? Now, of course, I do have a trade, but I'm just going to go quickly and let these guys go into each other. Actually, I'm going to leave that there and put this one up here like this. Because <clears throat> purple now should know that he can't work with white. And white's got more troops than both of us combined. I don't have a natural set. No, dear. He's going to take your cap. Oh, man. Oh, like, give me a turn and I'll come down here. Like, purple's trash. Where's he going? He's going to try and block me. Interesting. No, he's not blocking me. Okay. So I'm just still taking the card and passing. He's opening purple's route. Ooh, should I trade to be sure? What are trades at? 105? Or do I invite it? I think I invite it. I'm already getting third as far as I'm concerned, right? So. Or are these guys teaming? Is that what's going on here? Is that what's going on? Are these guys teaming? I mean, what's White getting a turn, by the way? 28. Trades are at 105. That's not the worst thing in the world, but it's not great. It's not great. I mean, I could take that White Cap, but I don't think I want to do that. No, I got a natural set, which is great. Irkutsk or Yakutsk? Doesn't really matter. All right, so I'm going to throw the fist pumps out now and see if he wants to work with me. I need to improve my cap situation before my game is done. Okay, this is good. This is real good. Okay, purple's pissed at white. This is good. All right. And now I've got cards in America that I didn't have before, at least cheaper cards.
Let's see if that makes any difference. I'm trying to show Purple that I'm working with him, basically. That's what I'm trying to do. Because otherwise I've just taken a whole bunch of cards that I didn't need to take. The other thing I could have done was just taken purple out and taken second. That is also possible. Okay, this is good. Now, how do I set it up so that we can trade here? Oh! It gave me this cap! And all of a sudden, it's gone gravy. Should I move them all there? I think I just move them all. I don't want this cap. I just want the one cap. Controversial maybe, but one cap won't get smacked. If I split across and made these two 50s, there's a chance that white could smack it. So again, I'm gonna go fist bumps. And then we can eventually trade here. Eventually, when the trades get big enough, we can give white the world and just trade here. Leave it like a hundred. It might have been okay. I just don't, but that means you just lose the hundred. Right? You just lose the hundred eventually. All right, white thinks it's a bonus game, guys. He's gone to one big cat. What does that mean? What does that mean? Who's he gonna hit? Uh -oh. Someone said the bo bo bonus word. Just playing swapsies. And then I'll split across these two caps because they're two good caps, right? And I'm going to trade as soon as I can, excellent, and protect these two caps. I don't care about the bonuses, I care about the caps. Okay, this is good. Purple knows what they're doing, white doesn't. Cool. Okay. What do you think, guys? This game's looking a lot better now. Now purple's got two caps. Everyone's got two caps. It's a game of merry-go-round. Well played. We know this cap is trash. It looks like the card block's on against white. And look at this, all of a sudden I'm the troop leader. Okay, so I've got to concentrate on what cards I'm taking here. I'm 
Just putting everything back to cap. Give me one sec. Get a drink. Happy with how this has gone. What did I miss? What did I miss? Hello, Tiger. Welcome in. Just doing some classic caps. Just need to protect myself against this 710 cap in case it ever gets opened. And go from there, basically. White just gives me more cards. Alright, let's start blocking white. How do I start blocking white? I just need to wait for my caps to be a bit bigger, guys. If I'm going to start some shit, I want a bit more defense. And then we'll start card blocking white. You're plus two. Oh no, how will I cope? Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm not worried about losing cards. I've got cards for days. I'm worried about losing caps. Although White's cap is close to me. Excuse me. Let me just chill a bit. But at least I know these guys aren't teaming anymore. White's well, obviously going to win this one. That cap in Australia. Yeah, he's given up. He gave up these two caps to have Ural, which is a great cap, and the Aussie cap. So yeah, guys, I'm just waiting, 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 waiting. And then I'm going to start putting a card block on white. All right, white's got a trade here. Do I taste it? Maybe. Let's see. Where does this go? Oh, it's going to go for the cap. It's going for the... This is great for me. This is 310. Let's go. Okay, can I wipe him out? Oh. Do I take this cap as well? For the end game? Or does that just make me too weak? Is three caps too weakening? I feel like taking it. I mean, I've got to trade, first of all. I've got the troops. I'm going to do it. Because this will set me up really well for the end game. Purple doesn't seem to care, which is great. So we're slowly going to get white to use up all his cards, guys. I'm slowly going to get white to use up his cards and we'll just card block him and I have to work out somewhere where I can trade with purple. That's all. Do I have a lucky trade on three? I don't. Okay. Well played. I'm going to say well played. I'm, oh, I need to keep purple on side. White can't do shit to me except break South America. Just trade and stick it all on cap. Which cap? This one? Yeah, there's a trading zone. I agree. 
Well, that doesn't do anything else. So purple's on four. He can come and get me. All right, I'm just going to trade just to be sure. Just to be sure, guys. Well, except this closes off this cat. Oh, that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay. Stack on Greenland. Yeah, I'm going to eventually. I'm going to. Hello, Spud. Welcome in. I'm going to eventually, but my caps are too weak. My caps are a bit weak at the moment. I mean, his cap's closed. I just want to trade a couple more times and then I'm going to set up the card block. All right, or I can set it up now. He's on three cards. So I just want to take off about, I don't know. That'll do. Card block is there if purple wants to do it. Oh, well played. Well played, sir. I don't think 20 is enough. I don't think 20 is enough. He's only getting 12. That's enough. There you go. And then we just trade in the pocket here. That's all we got to do. This is still my most important cap. I have a trade, and I'm going to use it straight away. All right, does White have a trade? Oh, my impression. Oh, mate. I was stuck on this cap and this close to being card blocked. Purple was doing a great job. I love that split. That split was all important, guys. That split was all important. Without that split, it would have been nothing. Give purple a card. And then go. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that one. That's an oopsie. Oh, there's 122 here, but that's okay. Hopefully he knows how to zero card. Maybe I should have zeroed. Hello, Matsuroti. Let's see if purple knows how to zero card, guys. Zero card. Zero percent. Sorry, not zero card. Zero percent. Well played. I should have helped out. I should have helped out a bit more. And you've got to fortify a bit more to here, I think. Because this is going to be 19 on a 25. That's not bad. I should have helped out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I should have done some of it. 
Okay, so now I will. Um, what's he got left? Thirteen. Just in time, in fact, Mr. Driz. Just in time, sir. Yeah, purple is good. Now, is he going to reverse card block me if I kill white, is the question. All right, he's zero carding. All right, excellent. Excellent. Now, guys, while we go through this phase of the game where we just have to wait to kill purple, I do have an announcement. Um, Mr. Driz, who has just entered the stream, is uh, keen for everybody to know about BlizzCon. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard about this yet, but it's a new tournament. Uh, and the feature of this tournament is that blizzards are going to play a really big part in every game. So uh, I think it's a great idea for a tournament. Uh, I think blizzards do have the ability to change the map and the gameplay. So I think it's a great idea for everyone to jump into this tournament. Uh, now, guys, sign-ups do close on Sunday the 24th. So is that the 24th of March? I'm assuming that's the correct. So uh, make sure you get your entries in for BlizzCon before the 24th when they close. Uh, it's open to absolutely anybody, all skill levels. Every, all skill levels, guys. Uh, but you've got to be on the GM Arena server in order to participate. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, there's also cash prizes, guys. We've got $20 for the winner and $5 for... <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice work, White. Nice fortification. Give me one sec, guys. Ah, oh, no. No, no, my 469. So yeah, guys, there's cash prizes for the winners. 20 bucks for first prize, $5 for each of the finalists. So um, yeah, get involved. I think this is a good tournament. Driz has been nothing but a huge asset to the community since he joined. So uh, very happy to help him in terms of increasing the awareness here. So uh, make sure you get involved. If you like Blizzard's games and how they set up the tournament, how they change your game, then this is the tournament for you. All right, so we need to, I need to do half of the work here. I need to do half of the work. How much comes off, do you think, guys? Ooh. Ooh. How much do I put in? 200? 169. I can't do 169, guys. Oh, pretty shitty roll. All right. But I got close to half of it down. 
I don't want to weaken this cap too much. And in fact, I'm going to reinforce it next turn. No, he's going to kill him. Oh. Is this to... Uh... Mm, okay. Interesting. Interesting. What do I do here, guys? Well, that's okay as is. I definitely need to bolster this by a good hundred and something. Yeah, that's true. But he's on four cards. What is trades? Trades are only at 200, okay. All right, that'll do. All right, let's see if White's got a trade on three, guys. Yeah, I hit the stack. That wasn't a new play, Bamster. I think that was the move. Because I do have 470 troops on him. So. Such a noob. Okay. Now's the question. Oh, he didn't do anything. Okay. Let's see how that works. Last turn, White should have dropped cap. Yeah. Now if he drops cap, someone's just going to smack him. Do I have a trade on three? No, I don't. Okay, purple didn't take the bait. Purple didn't kill him. All right, let's see if he's got a trade on three. We know he doesn't have a trade on three. Okay, now he comes off cap. Let's see what White wants to do now. Looks like he's going to kill White. Great. And then I'll just card block him. Well played. I think this is taking second, guys. What do you think? I think he's taking second, second here. Yeah, well played. Let's see if he stays off cap. Let's see if he stays off cap. Two hundred and ten. He had to trade. Does he walk off cap? No, he's gonna try and fight me. He's gonna try and fight me. Okay, you can have that cap. I mean, I could even take this cap, right? This cap is the key. Yeah, I gotta love the tenacity, that's right. Now, I have to trade before him, right? But why don't I just go off cap and make him trade? I feel like that's the move. Oh, I think I need to trade to do it, though. Yeah, okay. Oh, I can't! No, set on four!
man. Okay, so he can try and take this cap, but that would be death. He'd have to trade to do it. Okay, cool. And now I don't have to worry about my caps, right? Yeah, this is game over. This is game over, guys. All right, 234, so that's 80 on each cap. Actually, I'm gonna put more on this cap because it's gonna do a bit of work in a sec. Actually, I'm gonna put it all on this cap because he can't hit it, right? And I may as well save the troops. I save the troops. He's on five cards, bud. He's on five cards. So I put a lot of here. I put a lot here because this is the cap that's going to have to come off because he's going to have to hit through here. So whatever he puts here, I just smack it. And I have a trade on three too. Excellent. He gets a good roll there, but I don't think it's going to matter. Yep. I think he's working out that he's pretty screwed. He could have a trade though, guys. Five hundred and thirty. Well, off-cap troops must be smacked. Not worried about the card block at the moment. Hello there. Hello indeed. Oh, can I cap run? I can just cap run, right? Just cap run? game well played and good luck sir and i'll give him a fist bump as well let's go Woo! i could have killed purple i don't want to disrespect him like that he was a pretty good ally uh anyway that was really good stuff uh, if you do like this content, please drop a like and subscribe. I am going to put this one up on YouTube. Uh, before we go, though, and before we see the ranks, I'm going to get bring up the spreadsheet. Everybody's favorite part of the stream, guys. Everybody's favorite part of the stream. What do we think the ranks were? What was purple? Do we think purple was a half-decent player? Um, it's a bit... I'm not sure, to be honest. I think purple was maybe a master or a GM. Um, I reckon the other guys might have been beginners. All right, so purple, master or GM, everyone else a beginner. Let's see how close I got. Purple was a master and everyone else oh, a bit better than a beginner on average. So that's not bad. So uh, for those of you who haven't seen the spreadsheet before, this is it in all its glory. So there was uh, one master, one expert, one intermediate and two beginners. Is that what it was? Was there two beginners? Two intermediates. So the average rating for that game was 3.2. So it was an average intermediate lobby, which is not bad. I'll take that. And our skill points go up from 26.505 to 27.279. So that is an increase of 774 from first. That's a good haul. That is a good points haul, guys. From coming first. I'll take that. Uh, now, again, for those of you who haven't seen this masterpiece before, and I'm taking the mickey out of myself. Uh, I keep a record of how I go in each of the different game modes. 
Uh, Non-caps, progressive, I win 43%. Uh, fixed, that's classic fixed, I win 65%. And prog caps, I'm, I'm uh, pretty close to 80%. So this is why people play prog caps. Uh, the same skilled player, and you win a lot more games playing prog caps. So if you do want to rank up at the game of risk, uh, learning how to play prog caps is the way to go. And I have a whole series of videos on this channel on how to play progressive caps. So uh, please drop a like and subscribe and I'll catch you later. Bye for now, fellow noobs.